Hello, hello everybody. Good morning. Welcome to another daily vlog. If you're new, my name is Jess. I vlog every single day over here on our YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, I guess. Um, welcome back y'all. So <laughs> David's going to come say, David's going to come greet y'all. Everybody was talking about how amazing. How are you vlog. doing? Rest how, in peace, Matthew Perry. I know. Everybody was talking about how amazing David did on the vlogs. And they, I, Thank guess, you. I guess they want you to come back and do it again. Because everybody's telling me how great David did. He did. He did really good. Um, that was a very fun vlog that he did while I was sick. And I was very thankful for him because I was sick as a dog that day. So anyway, everybody, if you're new, um, did I already say this? I vlog every single day. I'd love to have you subscribe. If you're not new, welcome back. I have three kids. I have a husband. We're very busy, but we love vlogging our life over here. And, and a dog and a partridge and a pear tree. Um, okay, so update on everybody. I'm feeling a lot better. Still coughing. And it's like, when I lay down at night, it like triggers like the coughing reflex. So I felt like I coughed until about 1 a.m. this morning. But when I'm up moving around, I'm feeling so much better. So it's just like that lingering little bit. And then Lucy got her expander put on at the orthodontics office yesterday. She's doing really well, but her mouth is very sore this morning. So she got up. She was able to eat a honey bun. So I figured that was pretty soft. She ate that. She took some medicine. She went to school. So I'm hoping she has a really great day. Oh, we are getting ready to go run some errands. So we got everybody dressed. Me and David are dressed. I just got my three-year-old Marky man dressed. And Mark hasn't been out of the house in days because he's been cooped up because I've been sick. So we're going to go run some errands for the church. We've got to get Christmas decorations. We have people staying after on Sunday to help us decorate, but we need to like have stuff for them to do because we don't have very much like this. Like there was some old decorations in the attic, but we're really trying to like bring some modernness and um, kind of start over. And then year after year, we'll add a little bit to it. So it's not going to be a ton this year. My goal is a wreath at each door, which is like three wreaths, a wreath for the kids door. And then, so I guess that's four wreaths. And then I want to have a tree in the foyer and then the kids have a tree. And then we're still trying to decide what we're going to do in the sanctuary. And then probably a few decorations in the foyer. There's like a table. So we're going to decorate that. That's probably about the extent of our decorating, but there's still a lot of stuff. Like we've got to buy ornaments. We have our tree. We've got to buy ornaments. We've got to buy a tree skirt. Um, I need like, uh, zip ties for the ribbons and also like floral wire, but I really like zip ties for the, like the really heavy, like if you have a heavy bow to tie the middle down, it's really easy with zip ties. Um, I'm trying to think there's a few things that we need to get for the kids tree. So we're going out. I think I'm going to start at target cause I just was on their app and they have a lot of their wreaths on sale. So we're going to start at target and then probably go to Walmart is what I'm thinking. But Thought you guys might like to come with us. Um, and then I'm hoping to get back home before it's too late in the day so that I can kind of get the house a little bit more put together. We got it a little bit better yesterday. Since I was sick, you know, I just feel like the stuff is everywhere and just, I don't know. I need to get it back together. I really want to have my life together before we leave for Thanksgiving next week. Because last time we left to go out of town, we came home to the house being a disaster and it was horrible. So I'd like to have it clean um, and be able to like leave with it all fresh and clean before next Tuesday. So anyway, I love you guys. Let's have a fun day together. You guys come shop with us. Last year I thought about how things can
back home. We were gone for a couple hours with David. We got everything we need, I think. I may have to like see how it looks and we may have to add a thing here or there, but we got ornaments. We got a tree skirt. We got stuff for the kids tree. I got stuff for our little table in the foyer. We got like this really cute wooden nativity set. Look at thing. Really pretty. We got some pillows for the foyer that just jazz up a little bit. We got a little hot cocoa box for all of our hot cocoa packets. I'm sure that look way cuter than just having a box of hot cocoa out there. And then I also got a like candy cane looking tray for all of our coffee creamers. Normally we have just a like regular wooden tray. So I thought it would be fun to switch that out for Christmas. Just trying to do little things to kind of bring some Christmas spirit in. And I think it's all going to go really well. So we went to Target. And we found wreaths that are pretty much already ready to go. Like, I don't have to buy a lot of stuff to go in them. I'm just going to add a bow to them. And they were $30 a piece. But when I scanned it on the app, it was showing it online for $21. And um, it said, like, only online. But then it was saying the online was sold out. So we asked customer service if they would match it, and they did match it. So that was awesome. That saved us a bunch of money. So we're going to do two wreaths on the front doors, and then we have a back door that some people come in that have, like, um, either a wheelchair or a walker or something. It's easier to come in the back way. So I want to make sure that door is decorated, too. So we got three wreaths. I was looking for, like, a fun kid's wreath. I couldn't find one. I am still, like, so congested. I need to take some Dayquil. Um, stopped and had to get myself a Diet Coke because I just, my throat was just like, okay, you're done. <laughs> so I'm happy to be back home for a little while. After going to Target, we went to Walmart. I got just a couple things. So I'll show you guys that, what, what we needed for the house just to make it through till we leave for Thanksgiving. And then we went to Hobby Lobby. That place was crazy, but they had so much cute stuff. Okay. Also, when we got home, HelloFresh was here. So I'm going to show you the meals I got. I'm kind of regretting it. I wish I had gotten like all three of the same thing or like two of the same thing and just did like an easy, easy time on myself because what was awesome is I pre-cooked. I used HelloFresh as like a meal prep, prepped the meals. And then while I was sick, it was so good I did this. I didn't, wasn't planning on getting sick, obviously. But I prepped David some meals the day before I got sick. And so while I was sick, he was able to just like keep eating regular food, which was great. So I want to do that again. Maybe tomorrow I can take some time. We want to take the kids tomorrow night and do our traditional family outing where we all pick out an ornament. Mark found some ones he likes, but we like tried to hold him off so that we let every all the kids pick out an ornament every year. And it's just like a fun outing that we do. So we thought it would be better to go tomorrow night before Friday night's going to be crazy in there. So anyway, let me show you guys what I got real quick. And then I'm going to like sit down for a minute um, at Walmart. So strawberries were not the prettiest. And there was no price on them. And they have been pretty good priced at Walmart. So I just grabbed a pound. When I was doing the self-checkout, I saw that they were over $4 for a pound. Probably wouldn't have bought them otherwise, but y'all know how much Nate loves these. And the ones we have are looking pretty gross. I need to throw them out. I figured bananas would be good for Lucy with her mouth hurting. Um, so I got some more of those. <clears throat> got some more lettuce. I was out almost in my favorite. This stuff is so good. This is one of my favorite dressings, even if you're not doing sugar-free or whatever. This is amazing. Hun um, honey Dijon sugar-free GQs. And then I picked up some turkey meatballs because I saw this guy. They had the spaghetti squash for 99 cents a pound. And I love spaghetti squash, especially this time of the year. So I thought maybe tomorrow night we could do like spaghetti and meatballs. And then me and David or David could do either noodles or if he wants to eat the spaghetti squash. I like the spaghetti squash with the meatballs. I'll be really good. And um, I can roast it up. That's kind of the plan. Layla, I'm out of breath. 
She's like, please come sit down. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to sit here and drink my Diet Coke and put all the HelloFresh stuff away first. And then I'm going to sit down and drink my Diet Coke. And um, I'll see you guys back in a little while. You guys, this just makes me so happy. Look, HelloFresh has Christmas packaging. It's so cute. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you guys the ones I got this week. So, I've got to clean my kitchen. It is no good. But anyway, white cheddar crunch burgers with griddled onions, roasted potato wedges, and smoky mustard. Sesame soy beef balls with jasmine rice, sriracha mayo, and crispy fried onions. And penne with beef and zucchini ragu with Parmesan cheese. Layla really wants me to sit down. Anyway, I forgot to show you guys, so I wanted to show y'all. Stuck you guys on a tripod. I'm having such issues with this tripod. I got a new one because my good one broke, and I hate it. Like, I hate it so badly. <laughs> but um, my Timu order came. I was telling you guys yesterday I was going to do a little haul for Timu. It's not sponsored or anything, but it got delayed with the post office. Anyway, it's here now. And I really like most everything we got. It's, so, Timu, it's great. Like, I really do like a lot of the stuff I've gotten from them. You have to take it all with a grain of salt. Some stuff is going to come out weird. <laughs> but everything is so cheap. It's really fun. I think it's fun to order from them and Sheen. I don't have a problem with it. But if you don't like ordering from them or China or whatever, then definitely you don't have to. But I just thought I'd show you guys a few things I got. I really wanted to order some stuff for Lucy because, I don't know, like, she's in this weird size, like, in between kind of girls and, um, like, little girls, and she's not ready for, like, teen stuff, and so my washer is singing to me. <laughs> so, anyway, I wanted to get her some, just some basic stuff, and they had these two-pack of leggings. I don't remember how much any of this stuff was, but I did pay, like, 80 bucks for all of it. Um, I actually got a lot of stuff, so... This two pack of leggings. I'm going to have her try them on. They are pretty thin, but she wears them like under like long dresses and long shirts. So I don't think it'll matter. Um, it's a black pair and a gray pair and they feel very soft. Also, I got her this pink. It's not really sweater material. It's like, it's really thin, but I think that's a good thing because I, I don't know. Sweaters get kind of hot. She's a very nice little pink sweater. This is an 11 to 12 size. Sometimes their sizes are weird. So a lot of the stuff I upsized, but I think this is the biggest size they had 11 to 12. And I mean, I think it'll fit her. I just wish it was a little bit bigger. So it would fit her more like a tunic, less like a shirt, but I'm going to have her try it on. And then they have a great return policy. If you don't like stuff, um, this is going to fit her a lot better. This little pink Christmas sweater. Some of the stuff I'm going to put away for Christmas time. Or um, I'll have her Elf on the Shelf, Ralph, bring it. Ralph um, likes to bring fun stuff sometimes. And so I just thought this shirt was very cute. And it's super soft. This one is 11 to 12 as well. And it's just made a little bigger. It's just hard to know uh, what, you know, what the sizing is going to be like. I do read the reviews, but sometimes it's still hard to know. Okay, this one... I forget what size it is. It also looks kind of big, but I thought she would love this like tie dye. And this one is also super soft. Um, she needs some more long sleeve shirts that she can wear with leggings and stuff. She's not big into wearing jeans. She likes leggings more. And so with that, I want her to have longer shirts, if that makes sense. And um, Siri thinks I'm talking to her. <laughs> um, so... It's hard to find longer shirts. For whatever reason, everybody's shirts are short. So I think this will be cute on her. And then one more. It's just a green shirt with a heart. I thought that'd be cute for fall. I got myself a Thanksgiving sweater. It is cute. I was hoping it was me a little softer. It's very much just like a regular t uh, sweatshirt material though. And it just says thankful and it has some pumpkins. I just, I don't know. I saw it and it was like, I don't know, 10 bucks or something. And I just thought, oh, okay. I got a 3X. I think I got makeup on it because I just tried it on. So that's not good. I need to wash it. Um, I got a 3X and I normally wear a 2X. And I'm glad I did. Because it doesn't really stretch. 
Layla, it's okay. Okay, let me show you, that's all the clothes. Let me show you the other stuff I got. I needed a new pumice stone. This was a dollar, so um, it looks exactly like the ones I used to buy from Sally's that were like way more than a dollar, so. I also have been wanting one of these batter dispensers. Um, you fill up this with like pancake mix or cupcake batter or something. And then you squeeze the little thing and it fills it up without a mess. I thought this would be perfect for pancakes because if you've ever made pancakes with batter, it's just always a mess. And so that'll be good. Um, okay, Dan's texting me. I also got her and Mark some slippers and I may wait to give them to them but if it gets cold here soon like in the morning i might just go ahead and give it to them because her little feet have been cold um these are her size but as i'm looking at them i'm like these look kind of small i'm not yes. sure so i may have her go ahead and try these on and see if they fit um and she can just start wearing them because we have had chili we all have hardwood and all over our house and it is chilly in the morning so these are really, really cute, and they are very, like, good quality, it feels like. Marks, on the other hand, I don't know. They're not my favorite. They, they feel kind of cheap. Um, but they do have a nice, cushy bottom. I'm just wondering. It looks like they have anti-slip. I just need to make sure that he doesn't go slipping. But it does look like ones that would stay on his foot good. So we'll see how those work out. Um. Okay, this claw clip I was thinking was going to be bigger. So I'm, I don't know, like my hair is so thick. Now I will say this is very strong. It is a very strong clip. Layla, what are you doing in there? Um, but like my hair is so thick. I don't know if it'll hold it. Now, a lot of times though, well, I think it will. Um, a lot of times though, what I use clips for or when I do my hair and I put like half of it up, I'll clip it and then curl this part and then you know so I use it more as I'm getting ready so I may keep it it was like at 99 cents so also got a few pieces of jewelry I wanted this necklace that says mama I just thought it was really pretty and it's gold and it's simple I also got some gold heart earrings and I thought that I just have been wanting some like daintier jewelry because a lot of times when I wear a jewelry it's like really heavy um so, they're just like little open. I was going to try to show y'all, but I can't. I can't get it open. Wait, who tried to call me? It does have a missed call, but I just talked to David. I did not miss this call. Okay. They're little open hearts. I thought they were really cute. And I thought, too, like, if these are okay quality, it'd be cute for Lucy to wear these. Yeah, those are really cute. Their jewelry is pretty inexpensive. Like, it's shockingly inexpensive. So, you know, be careful if you have sensitive ears. I also got this pretty um, beaded um, bracelet, and it says Mama. I was just getting all the Mama things. Um... It has like these marble beads and it says mama. I just thought it was cute. I don't have anything like this. Okay. My, my group chat text is going off. I'm going to silence that. Also, I've been needing new measuring spoons. And like I have two tablespoons, I think. And for whatever reason, I go through those all the time. And I need more. And like I'm constantly watching them. And I'm very low on like teaspoons so I got this little set I thought they were cute and it has like a teaspoon a tablespoon and then the half half and quarter oh no well I don't think that they're labeled correctly half a teaspoon oh oh this says it's half a tablespoon I've never had a half a tablespoon measure okay so it's half a tablespoon, tablespoon, half a teaspoon, teaspoon. And then this is what I'm going to put probably in Lucy's stocking, um, either that or I'll just give it to her at Christmas. It's a little portable jewelry container and it has an initial, you can choose your initial. So I got her L for Lucy. 
And she loves earrings and she's always traveling with jewelry and stuff. Um, and you know, it's just hard to not let it all spill out. It gets tangled or whatever. So I thought this was really cute. Um, it has like a little place to put stuff up here and then a mirror and then like rings and earrings or whatever. I just thought she would really like that. And it's super cute. And again, it was very cheap. So that is everything. I think I got a lot of stuff. Um, I do have a code with Timu, just like they don't know who I am over there, but if you want like um, a good coupon code to get some money off, if you're interested in ordering, I will link that below. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with everything. I don't know. I'm going to let Lucy try on this stuff and we'll see if we need to turn, return anything. But of all the stuff I got, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm going to put away the Christmas sweater in the jewelry box. That'll be for Christmas. Everything else, I think we're going to go ahead and just start using. So this is getting long. All right. I'll see you guys back when Lucy gets home. We're going to see how her mouth is feeling. Tonight is church, but I told her like, just get through school and then let's see how you're feeling. She was pretty sore leaving for school and we have to turn her appliance today. So they told her for the first week after we turn it, she could be really sore. So we may stay home. Um, I'm also still, I mean, I'm feeling a lot better, but I'm still pretty tired. So we'll just, I'm going to let her decide if she wants to go, then we'll go to church. If not, we'll watch from home. So I will see you guys back later. Oh, I forgot. I also got these mini parchment paper sheets because, and these were also super cheap, so I don't expect them to be amazing quality or anything. But a lot of times when I'm using my air fryer, I just need a tiny piece of parchment. Like these are really small. Um, but if I'm heating up just a single slice of pizza or um, like a dinner roll or something and I don't want to do a whole big thing for my air fryer, I just thought it'd be nice to have these and they were just a dollar or two. So I went ahead and picked them up. And I think there's like 50 sheets. So that's also in this order. All right, you guys, it's now like almost eight o'clock. It's been a very long day. I feel completely worn out. I, I feel like I have been up for like three years. I feel so tired. Lucy got home and her mouth was killing her. She was not happy at all. We had to turn her clients with a little key. I was kind of nervous about it. I wasn't sure exactly what I was doing. They showed me, but it was the first time I had to do it, but it was no big deal. I turned it no problem, but that once we did that, she was like screaming in pain. Um, so we have just stayed home and laid low tonight. And um, she took some medicine. I made her some rice, which is what she always wants when she is feeling great. And we've just chilled. So I just bathed the boys and we're just watching some TV before the kids go to bed. I'm hoping that she sleeps okay tonight. Um, like they told her, and I keep reminding her, this is not going to be for very long. It's like a week of it being really tight. And then she should get used to it. So that's what we're believing in. I made myself some lettuce wraps for dinner. And I did uh, rotisserie chicken. I cut up, like diced up really, really small. And then heated it up with a little bit of buffalo sauce. And then wrapped it in a, like a lettuce cup with a little bit of ranch and a little bit of cheese. It was so good. I love doing lettuce wraps. Like um, the ones from Jimmy John's I really like too. But I like making them at home. I'll do like tacos, tacos, lettuce wraps, or um, uh, like a sub sandwich style, or the buffalo chicken. It's just so crunchy. I love it. So I had that with some raw veggies, and it was really good. But I, like I said, I just feel completely exhausted. I, and I made Nate homemade mac and cheese. Homemade. Okay, I'll be right there. And he would not eat it. He kept, oh, there's a hair in your mouth? Oh, no. Um, can you put your little fingers in and pull it out? Um, I'm going to help him. I'm going to get the hair out of his mouth. Let me see. Oh, I see it. I got you. All better. That is annoying when you get a hair in your mouth. He was like, no, I want the other kind of mac and cheese. And what he means by that is like craft, you know, Walmart, great value, 50 cent. I put heavy cream in this mac and cheese. It was so creamy, real cheese, because I did not, I was looking all over for a box of mac and cheese, and I guess we're all out. So I was like, oh, I'll just make him some homemade. And he used to love that. 
No, he didn't eat much for dinner. He did eat a few snacks. I hope he's not feeling sick, but I don't know. He doesn't seem like it. He's been happy and playing, but he did not want that. I made him take a few bites of it. Like, it's okay. Like, I just encouraged him, like, try it. You'll you'll like it. And he didn't really like it. So, um, now David has uh, mac and cheese to eat because um, I made a whole bunch thinking, oh, he's going to love this. Typical mom thing. Kids are, you know, they're picky sometimes. And you're like, really? This is like 20 times better than a blue box mac and cheese, but. Not to him, apparently. You got it back. <laughs> Mark came in here with a basket on his head, and he said he's a basket man. You're, whoa, you're a basket man? Anyway, I'm going to sign off. Uh, when David gets home, I'm going to bed. Oh, but I love you guys. Don't throw that. I love you guys. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I thought